Hello. Hey, everybody. Back again. This time we're actually trying the treats in our Tokyo treat box. So we'll just hop right into it. You saw everything that was in the box before, so we'll just kind of pick and choose and taste and let you know what everything is. Yeah, we'll find out if we were right because it did come with a booklet. But we're not going to look out of it until we're done right. tasting everything. What should we start with? Hmm, that's a good question. Should we go savory and then sweet, or should we just go full bore and just pick whatever looks interesting? I feel like we should just start with what we pretty sure is the obvious. The uh, Kit Kats, right? Yeah. So we're just going to start with the Kit Kats, which <clears throat> has like a strawberry shortcake trifle on the front of it. So I'm guessing that's kind of what the flavor is. The only other English one hope. here is have a break, have a Kit Kat. That's the only other English one. Right. And I, I love, love Kit, Kit Kat. Kat. So, we'll move it. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. It smells highly of strawberry. Yeah, wow. Right off the bat. All right, it's just. I like how they're short. They're like shorter than normal Kit Kat. Stubby. I just feel things around. And so, here's what, nope. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Get a good look at that. Kit Kat logo's on there. Hmm. Definitely taste the strawberry. And the sweet cream. That's really good. It is. Yeah, because the only other... Uh, Japanese Kit Kat we had was green tea one. Yeah, those are actually pretty, are pretty decent. Yeah, but I think I like this one better. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm trying to resist myself for not eating this. Alone. I know that's gonna be the first one to go after this video is over. <laughs> well, we did promise your brother to save him a couple. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do our best if you're watching this video, and we know you will. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I guess that's good. a safe bet. This is the best one in the box so far. The rating things. Hmm. We would, but as far as the Kit Kat goes, I'd be a little biased. I was going to say that's it's probably ten out of ten right now. Oh, heck yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, what should we do next? Hmm. Should we hop around, or should we just keep going? Any fingers. Mm, let's try this. I'm curious. Not really sure what it is. It's got two weird looking guys with crowns and it looks like little dunce caps. <laughs> Still can't figure out if they're supposed to be savory or sweet. We'll see. We'll find out. Yeah. Oh, they're definitely savory. They smell like almost like sour cream and onion chips. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like little, like almost little mix up between a pork rind and a Frito. That's what it looks like to me. You had me a pork rind and Frito. Ooh. That's not bad. You know, I can get behind that, too. I was definitely right with the sour cream and onion flavor. It's not overpowering. It's just a perfect yeah. taste. It's almost like Captain Crunch had a sour cream and onion flavor. <laughs> That's the texture I'm getting. Don't give them any ideas. Because <laughs> you know there'll be a sour cream crunch. That's pretty good, though. Yeah, it's about, what, I'm thinking eight, high eight, low nine? Eight, yeah, let's go with eight for now. Yeah, I like those. You may have to adjust things slightly, obviously. And again, we'll find out what all this is once we get done trying them. So let's see, what should we do next? Since I picked the next, uh, the last one, you can... I'm curious what this is. I'm going to go with the big one. It looks like... I'm not sure. So I can't tell if it's going to be savory or sweet. It's almost like... Looks like a crunch bar. Strawberry. I don't know. 
We will see. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's chocolate. Yep. Yep. It's just like a weird, like, wafery chocolate bar. It's got, like... Okay, yeah, just by looks, it's no longer looking like a crunch bar, so Ooh. let's see. It's like the wafers that you get in the wafer cookies. Like, a really thick, covered in chocolate. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's it only it's a big old wafer. Yeah, this is good. Not bad. Yeah, I don't know. Would I go out of my way to buy one of these on a regular basis? No. Because mm -mm. you're basically just chewing air as you do with the wafer yeah. cookies. A respectable six. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, your brother's got some explaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's just keep the bar thing rolling. Let's try this one. This cute little guy on it. Looks like he's singing into a, a microphone to some flowers that are playing guitar. I can only imagine. Also has the same kind of texture as that other bite is good. It's got like a... Ooh. Like a giant Cheeto. A giant Cheeto. Smells like a like, Cheeto? It tastes like a giant Cheeto. <laughs> Good though. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a giant Cheeto. No problem. Yes, it's actually a better Cheeto than the American Cheetos, I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna say, yeah, the cheese flavor is really good. Mm -hmm. Almost like the yeah, because the American Cheeto dust is getting to be almost artificial at this point. Yeah. This is really good. It is. Yeah, definitely an eight and a half for me. I would definitely get those on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Did we mention this is a Kickstarter? You're actually paying for a trip to Japan? Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, that's uh, your pick now. Mm, let's just stay on the same routine. That's probably a good idea. We've got some chips here. Yeah, just some looking they look at like that. Pringles. Yeah, I'm thinking it's like a cracked black pepper. Yeah, because yeah, because this guy in the back has got this bowl thing here looks like little cracked peppers in there. So. We'll see. What's the air? Oh, yeah, it says pepper right on top. I yep, I that. just noticed that Yamitsuki pepper. Hmm, okay. Potato chips. Ooh, ooh. Wow. That's a punch in the mouth. <laughs> ooh. I'm good. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna live. Yeah. Oh my god. That's strong. Now, these are the kind of chips that would go great on a sandwich. Not on the side with a sandwich, but like a ham or turkey yeah. sandwich. Yeah. Oh, really strong. Holy cow. Yeah. I mean, they're good, but I wouldn't sit on the couch eating a whole bag of these. Yeah, right. I think my mouth would be on fire. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a sandwich chip. <laughs> They're That's pretty all. good, though. They are. Um, I'll give them maybe six out of ten. That's fair. That's very fair. All right. We should. 
because you can't eat a bunch of snacks without washing it down with something. And I have no clue what flavor this is. So we're going to find out. Other than the color, we have no clue. What this it could be. What are your guesses before you open it? I don't have a guess, to be honest. I'm guessing it's like a cream soda or like a pineapple, something like that. Pineapple would probably make more sense just based on the color alone. Okay. We'll smell it first. It's not pineapple. I think you were right the first time around. It smells more like a cream it's got soda. No smell to it. It smells like a cream soda, but maybe my nose is out of whack. Ooh, ugh. Ugh. yeah, it's definitely like cream soda. I'm not a cream soda fan. Well, that's all yours. Congratulations. Actually, almost. I feel like it's. it's I don't know about cream soda, but there's definitely cream in here. It's. I don't know, if maybe like a, I think it's more like a latte. I was going to say, yeah, it doesn't really have the coffee flavor, but like just a tad more would be, let me try it again. Maybe it's like, yeah, like a vanilla latte maybe. Yeah. That's good. It doesn't have a strong coffee flavor to it, but it's sweet. It's got a bunch of measurements on here. I'm not sure really what's in it. Find out. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna find out all. Find out at the end. All right. I like the. Uh, Go back to sweet. Yeah, that's about a six for me. Six. Mm. Maybe seven. Oh, I'm talking about four. I'm not into it. I'm just not a creamy thing person. I know. I wish it, if it had more of a coffee flavor, I'd, I'd enjoy it. It's more just like. I took cream that I put my coffee and just drank it straight. All right, we're just gonna go with. I'm assuming it's cotton candy. Just from the feel alone. Feels fluffy. Looks like he's eating cotton candy. Flavor, we're not sure, but we'll find out. Ooh. There's no smell. It's not much of a flavor either. It's just sweet. A basic sponge sugar cotton candy. That's all it is. It's just not dyed pink like your average cotton candy. Mm-hmm. Sugar high, sugar high. Yeah, we're definitely going to have one today. Oh, that one would be a four, just on the simple fact that it's just basic. That, I'm just not a big cotton candy fan. No. I mean, it's good. But... All right, should we keep going the sweet route, or should we do savory? Oh, no. well, you know, we got to do this one next, then, if that's okay. the case. Bernie's favorite, the little bunny in it. And the thing is, we're not quite sure what is exactly is in there. Looks like another little wafer cookie thing. Like cinnamon sugar, maybe? Like a snickerdoodle, but like more wafery. Or like a rice cake. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, wow, and they gave you two, so perfect. Like a rice cake. Mmm! That is savory, not sweet. What is that flavor? Can't quite put my finger on it or my tongue. <laughs> hmm. Like chicken? <laughs> I'm serious. Like almost like chicken stock is what it tastes like. Yeah. Sounds about right. This is definitely weird. It it's good, but it's so weird. Weird texture, interesting flavor. Mm. 
Yeah, because uh, I don't know any American kids that would beg their or annoy their parents. Mommy, can I have chicken stock cookies? Or, <laughs> I'm not sure how their dates break in Japan, but the back of this says 190411. Hopefully this doesn't expire several years ago. Or it's either April, or, it expires April 11th or November 4th. April 11th, maybe, yeah. At least we hope it's April 11th. If it is, we're good. Oh, never know. Anyway. I don't know. Even if I was a little kid growing up in Japan, I wouldn't eat these on a regular basis, even with the cute little pudgy bunny. I mean, they're not bad. But it's not a go out of my way type no. of snack. Mm -mm. All right. You pick. I want to see what these bear things are. Oh, the little panda cookies. At least I hope they're cookies. Oh, they look like cookies. Panda. Oh, look, even on the back, they tell you, save the panda. Save the panda. Sure one, huh? Yeah, that works. Okay. What's up with these little packages? Yeah, a little bear inside of them, I'm At least we hope they're little bear shaped cookies. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh. They're like almost like pretzels, but not really like cookie shaped pretzels. This is like cute. Dipped in chocolate. Bear head. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the Kit Kat has competition. Right. You know? I would seriously eat a whole bag of these. <laughs> and then some. Luckily, they gave us a six pack. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my God. That's good. Yeah. Uh, that's definitely a 10 out of 10 What's with the, the Kit Kat. I get thinking white chocolate with. Uh, with a little bit of milk chocolate for the eyes and ears. Try one more. I'm um, looking at this. It, makes, it says 70. So I'm guessing there's 70 different faces on this pandas that they want that you can collect. So how do you collect them when you can eat them? I know, right? <laughs> well, you know, there's got to be some kid that's trying to collect all 70 faces and. Hmm. Okay, now I got a decision to make. Hmm. I think these are the ten. Kit Kats are going down to nine. I'm sorry. Really? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm torn because both of these still get a ten. I would eat the Kit Kats and the Panda cookies religiously. But wow, I'll, I'll have a final score for either or by the end of this video, I promise. <laughs> All right, so my turn, let's... I think I have an idea what these are, but we're gonna try it anyway. Well, it looks like something you have to mix. It looks like it's got a, a dipping thing and like a crystal candy thing. The instructions on the back look like you have to... I think we need water for this. All right, well I can just... Go fill it up and or fill a little glass up. Yeah, go get some money. I'll be right back. Yeah, because you got to, it's a measuring thing. You got to put water in it and put it in the mix. It's like a 12 step process. Just eat the damn thing. What? <laughs> That's an exaggeration. So, it's a several step process. Say, is there going to be? A, is that going to be a separate video? Look at this. Tray with the spoon. I think that's going to end up being a separate video. No, we'll do it now. All right. Where should it last though? All right. Well, we can put that on hold. Yeah, we'll come back to that one. Cause, yeah, that's a little strenuous for my kids right now. Um, what should we do next, huh? Oh, since that's going to be last, let's go with the fish. 
dish. Also has a wafery texture to it. I'm assuming it's gonna be savory, so we'll turn that. If it smells like fish, I'm not even sure. I can tell you. <laughs> oh nope, that's chocolate. Oh there we go. Oh wow. Ooh. It's like two like chocolate, I mean two fish shaped wafer cookies with chocolate in the middle. You know, I think I've seen videos of that and heard about this particular. Mmm. This must be the inspiration for that. That fish cone they have at the state fair. Mmm, yeah. And the chocolate inside is just so bubbly. It's airy. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like the, the arrow bars. Bar. Yeah. Hmm. Now I understand why this particular cookie is so popular. It's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing this is the closest you'll ever get to eating a whole fish, right? <laughs> yeah. I'll give that. That's probably like. Pandas and one. Gets two. That's definitely three. Oh, for sure. Yeah, this is a high nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I believe the hype. All right. All okay, right. Two more sweet. And one more savory. Yeah. And I assume this is going to be sweet. So I'll let you pick. Let's try this. Looks like a like a brownie bar or like a protein bar. I don't know. I know. Mmm. Mmm. Not. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? Mmm. Those, those uh, chocolate snack balls cookies that your mother used to eat when she was on a diet. <laughs> yeah. And just as uh, flavorless as those. Mm -hmm. Wow. So yeah. I was trying to be a brownie, but it's not. No, that's how parents punish their kids <laughs> over there. It's like, you've been a bad boy or you've been a bad girl. You're going to get a brownie. Oh, goody. Oh, what the heck is this? <laughs> yeah, I need to get that. Oh, wow. Let's try. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's about, uh, that's uh, probably, I give that an Ichiban on a one to 10 scale. Ichiban <laughs> meaning one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty low down there. <laughs> Would not go back to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. Should we try the? I thought you'd never ask. Oh, God. I don't think I'm going to like these, but we'll try them anyway. Yeah, just looking at these, they look like fries of some sort, and you got a crayfish right there, so we already know it's crayfish going to be shrimp? I shrimp, crayfish. We'll find out just from the, which are good in their own right, but let's see if we can get the sucker open. There we go. Oh, wow. Yep, it's shrimp, all right. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> well, that is all you. You're not even going to try it? You must. Um, I will, I guess. All right, well. This, I can't get past the smell. Nope, nope. Those are yours. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, yeah, I, wow. Mm -hmm. And it comes with three additional bags, so you sure you don't want any more. I'm good, thanks. 
Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't mind shrimp sometimes, but that has a really, like, fishy flavor to it. I love it. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, yeah. I don't mind a refrigerator in the background. Damn thing. All right. Well. All right. One last thing before we do the mixy thing. Uh, got the little egg guy on it. So like a layered bar. Oh my god, I can still smell those chips. <laughs> like a layered bar. I wonder if it's gonna have like a. I don't know if it's gonna be savory or sweet. We'll find out. You're either gonna save the best or worst for last. Stuff is sweet. Hmm. It's just like a giant Kit Kat. With like multiple chocolate on it. Mm-hmm. So it's got a paper cookie in the middle. Oh, white chocolate and other chocolate in the bottom. Oh, the white chocolate. Seems a bit sweeter. Yeah, you definitely taste the white chocolate more than the milk chocolate. Oh yeah, this is good. I'll let you have the rest. Since you're so gracious enough to let me have the entire four pack of shrimp chips. <laughs> you're welcome. All right, the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're gonna mix up this thing. See, look, we've got all these packets in here that we gotta mix. Mix and tray, spoon. What a half hour video so far. Actually, maybe I'm gonna pause this here, and then we're gonna mix this thing in a separate video. Um. Well, with that being said, let's read everything in the book and find out. Yeah, let's at least wrap that part up. All right, so strawberry tiramisu was the Kit Kat. Hmm. Very close. I don't think the tiramisu part. It's like the layered. And this. That is a. This is a parade milkshake. It's got egg and milk in it. Hmm. Okay. Let's just not say what it is though. So it's bringing the new year with a truly festive winter wonderland. With a parade, a parade milkshake. Milkshake that is. Milkshake drink features nostalgic milkshake rich flavor that is incredibly smooth and lasts for a while even after you drink it all. So it's supposed to be like a vanilla milkshake, I guess. Yep, we were right about the black pepper chips, okay. obviously. Yeah. Very strong. And that last one we had was the uh, custard chocolate bar. So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's why it was so pepper. sweet. It wasn't was even. Good. Yeah. All right, and the Crunchy Panda Cookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to tell them what that is yet. That's the next video. What? No, it's not. Is it? Uh, it's this one right here. Is it? We thought there were the sour cream and onion chips are salty seaweed puffs. What? All right, I need to try this again because I've had seaweed salad at sushi bars before, but I just can't. Yeah, it says rice puffs oh, are yeah. easy to eat and feature a savory salt flavor that is topped with umami from seaweed flakes. I just got you to eat seaweed. <laughs> or your brother, via this box, got you to eat seaweed. <laughs> and you like it. I mean, it. it's not very strong, so I can't really tell. Um, crunchy panda cookies, obviously. Yeah. Um, giant, giant chocolate bar puff. Contains peanuts. Where? I didn't taste any peanuts in that bar pot. That was that giant. Oh, it says no chocolate and peanuts are on the outside. That's what that bumpy stuff is. There's like little crushed peanuts in the chocolate. Oh, I guess I can see that now. The <clears throat> um, Lucky New Year Taiyaki snack. Fish shaped baked good solid through Japan. I was the, the one with the chocolate in the middle. Um, 
Yeah, that yeah, was that jumbo sh- fish. Shrimp sticks are delightful. Cute cotton candy. No, it wasn't. <laughs> and oh, you're right. It was right. a Trisha it brownie was. bar. I knew it. Because sometimes parents hate their children, or they just, or parents just want to. Uh, Packed with get various healthy. vitamins and minerals that many people lack to keep you energized and feeling amazing throughout your busy day. That's why there's no flavor. <laughs> We're doing this next. Um, cheese um. Umaibo. Umaibo. Yeah, it was a giant Cheeto. Essentially, yeah. We're pretty right for most things. Yeah, the, the savory the wheat crackers were the, the little bunny crackers. It doesn't have a specific flavor. It just says natural oils and salts from Okinawa to create a crunchy, salty cracker snack. Hmm. All right. Is that I think Is that so. The mixing thing that we're gonna do. Yep. All right. Final. Well, let's do a final tally of what we have here. What would you say first? <sighs> Moment of truth. I have got to go with. I gotta go. I'm still gonna stick with my gut feeling. Go with the strawberry cake one. cat is number one. Yep. I say. I still say that the panda cookie is number one. That was pretty good. That would be my second. Um, obviously, I the other way around. That's your two. One. Um, three would have to be... The fish. The fish or the this one? I would still lean towards the giant fish as my third favorite. That would be fourth. I think this is my third. This would be third. What was your fourth? Oh, this was your fourth. That was my fourth, yes. Yeah, the fish was third. I'd say, yeah, I'd push those two around again. I think the fish was probably fourth. And <clears throat> my top five, I would have to, I'm sorry, I would go with, wait, actually, no, I'm sorry. The shrimp pops are going to be six. I would go with the seaweed as five just because. How about the pepper chip? Too much? Yeah, like I said, those belong on not with a sandwich. So that would be hmm, that'd be about a seven. Yeah. And uh, this giant bar here, that'd be about an eight. Uh, no, that, that'd be my eighth favorite. And dead last would have to be the cotton candy, just because there really was no flavor to it. Yeah. Just cotton candy. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed all this taste test. We're going to come back at you with this mixy thing because I feel like this is going to take a lot longer and this is already a half hour video. So we'll see you all in our next video. Arigato and sayonara. <laughs>